My problem with this code is at line 10, the result. Here I am making a request to this endpoint using Exios in a TypeScript file. But the type of data this request returns is of type any. If I hover over this, you can see that the result is of type any. It means that we cannot leverage the type checking that TypeScript provides in this case. But there is a solution for this. When making use of requests using Exios in TypeScript, we can specify the type of data we are expecting as a response. The API I'm calling is this JSON placeholder API, the post endpoint. If I open this, you can see what it is returning, array of posts with individual posts having these properties. So over here, let me create a type for posts. I will call this type post. It has ID, which is number and title, which is a string and body, which is also a string. And finally, user ID, that is a number. Then in Axios, we can specify this expectation that that is the return type of our request like this. So I can come here and say post, but this is array of post. So we say array of post. I will save that. Then if I move my cursor over this now, you can see that we are getting post. The type of data we are getting is post. Down here, because I did not know what I was expecting, I said that P is of type any. And I'm trying to access a property which doesn't even exist in post XYZ. And there's no error because TypeScript is not type checking this. Now, when I remove any, and I hover over P, you can see it is individual post inside the array, which we are mapping through here. And automatically XYZ shows an error because it doesn't exist. So here I can leverage type checking of TypeScript. I can set ID and can go further to post.title, etc. You get the point. So whether it is a get request or post request, whatever HTTP verb, you can specify your expectation, the return type of that request in this manner. Please like and follow or subscribe for more.